I'm on the beach. Mm -hmm. I'm on the beach. <coughs> Very good. Describe this beach for me. It's sandy. Mm -hmm. What color is the sand mm -hmm. in this beach? The beige. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There's a lounge chair. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in it, and I'm. I got some tea. Mm -hmm. Got a blanket around me, and I'm looking out in the water. Mm -hmm. So as you look out in the water, I'd like to you to just observe, as you look out into the water, what the water is bringing you today. I'd like for you to search and see what you feel as you look out in the water. What catches your eye? The water's uh, twinkling mm -hmm. with light. Mm -hmm. Focus more on the twinkling and let's see what that twinkle is all about. The water's alive and it's, it's like it's dancing. Mm -hmm. Connect with that water, mind to mind and heart to heart. What is that water telling you today? It's saying we love you. Mm -hmm. Does the water want to be with you today? The water's happy and it's dancing and playing and it, mm -hmm. it's like it wants to put on a show. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what else the water wants to tell you. Why don't we go over to the water and step inside the water. Allow yourself to begin walking towards that water. It's like it's giving my ankles a hug. Mm -hmm. So keep walking inside the water. Allow yourself to immerse your body inside of the water. How does it feel? It's like it's, they're all giving me hugs. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to go under the water and you'll be able to breathe and see what's under the water mm -hmm. and feel yourself as you go deeper and deeper into the water. How does that feel? It's dark under there. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see what's under there. Allow yourself to use that inner eye to see what's under the water. How does it feel? It's still dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can use a flashlight. Imagine yourself with a flashlight. Let's see who's there to greet you today. There's a crab. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? It still seems dark under there. Mm -hmm. How does it feel under there? I'm kind of scared. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's going on under the water. Let's see why you feel scared. Hmm. What do you imagine is under that water? I feel like there's something in there that wants to get me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm with you in that water. There's nothing to fear. Let's find out what's in that water. Allow it to appear to you. Let's have a talk with whatever it is that's scaring you. It's 
like it's a black mass. Mm -hmm. And what is this bad black mass telling you? You don't have to be afraid of me. Mm -hmm. What else does it say? I'm not going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. So let's ask this black mass what it is. He says it's, it's goo. Mm -hmm. And who created this goo? It says that I did. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how you created this goo. Let's communicate with it and let's see how you created it. It says I still have too much hate in my heart. Mm -hmm. What else does it say? We can fix this. Mm -hmm. How can we fix this today? <sighs> we need to put love in there. Mm -hmm. Very good. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand on your chest and let's fill it with love. I'm going to have that fire hose of love going into your heart. I'm going to ask for that divine light to begin filling your heart with this white light. Feel it going through every cell of your body, pumping it into every space. And as I pump that light, feel how it transforms your cells. And tell me when it's full. It's full. All right, I'm going to tap your forehead and let's seal that in. So let's find out from the goo how that's helped. It's starting to lighten up. Mm -hmm. So let's find out from the goo what else it needs in order for it to totally transform. What else would that goo need? Goo needs love for it to go away. Mm -hmm. So now that you have love in your heart, let's begin transmitting to the goo all of that white light, all of that love from your heart. Begin sending it to the goo. And tell me what's happening as it is transmitted. It's lightening up and starting to dissipate. Mm -hmm. Very good. Tell me when it's completely gone. Okay, it's gone. Very good, very good. Now we can float and swim to any place we want to. So now I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go drifting and floating to another place and another time where there's information for you that would help you. Allow yourself to go drifting and floating and tell me what you see now. Be there now. Where are you? I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go back to a place where you have visited before. This is a place where you were able to see some striped socks. I'd like for you now to be in that same place. Allow yourself to feel yourself going back into that place. And as you look down, begin to see the striped socks again. And describe to me what you're seeing. Have these striped socks, and it. Um, I'm looking at my body, and it looks like I'm wearing like a. Uh, 
pantaloons. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? I feel like I'm female. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I feel like I'm like wearing a clown costume. Mm -hmm. Puffy shirt. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Hmm. Probably late teens. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> look at the rest of you. What do you look like? I've got red curly hair like it's a clown wig and I've got a hat on that kind of looks like a um like an old kind of hat that women would wear when they would go to sleep a long time ago with a long dress pajamas kind mm -hmm. of Mm -hmm. Puffy hat. Mm -hmm. So now that we've seen what you look like, let's find out what you're doing in this place. I'd like for you to go ahead and continue with the scene, and let's see what happens next. What do you do? I'm dancing around. Mm -hmm. dancing to? It's kind of circus music. Mm -hmm. And there's some children coming over to see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel happy. Mm -hmm. So look around and tell me what this, what is this place where you are? It's like a Roadshow circus. Mm -hmm. There's temporary tents up. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's some animals around. Mm -hmm. What kind of animals do you see? Elephant. Mm -hmm. What do they call you there? Messy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Messy the Clown. Messy the Clown. How do you like being called that? I don't like it very much. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about you. Let's find out how you got to be in this circus. So I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go back in time before you were in the circus. Be there now. Where are you? I'm a child. Mm -hmm. I think my my dad is the one who is the the ringleader. Mm -hmm. He's the one who's running the circus. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? I'm probably about seven. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Take a look at your dad. Can you see his eyes? Mm hmm. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes? No. Okay. So now, let's find out how you got to be in the circus. Take me through. It's been in the family for a while. Mm -hmm. And we're doing this, I'm, I'm always with the circus because it's the families with the circus. Mm -hmm. So you were born into this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do they call you before you were clown? I want to say Evelyn. Mm -hmm. When I say the name Evelyn, does that resonate with you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So Evelyn, how do you feel about being in a circus? It's kind of it's kind of fun mm -hmm. to see all the activity and everyone with the makeup on mm -hmm. and the animals. 
Do you take care of animals? Other people take care of the animals. I just kind of watch and I go up and look at them. Mm -hmm. So Evelyn, I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to another scene of your same lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? Uh, I'm sitting on the ground and I'm crying. Mm -hmm. What's the matter with you? I don't know. I'm just frustrated. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happened. What are you frustrated about? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Use your senses, you'll know what it is. I think I want to do something and, 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 and somebody told me I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who told you. Trust your impression. It was my dad. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it probably has something to do with the animals. Mm -hmm. You'll know the answer. Allow the answer to just bubble up. I want to ride on the elephant. And he's saying, no, that's what the, that's what the workers, the clowns and acrobat people get to do. And you're, it's too dangerous for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm frustrated. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? says you can be a clown. When she dress up you can be a clown. I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. It doesn't I don't know. How does that make you feel, Evelyn? Well, I guess it's something to do. I'd rather be with animals, but so yeah. So that's fine. All right. So close that scene now, and now let's go to another important day of that same lifetime when something is happening. Be there now. Where are you? <laughs> I'm on top of an elephant. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed? I'm dressed like the clown. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I'm happy about it. Mm -hmm. So it seems you got your way. My dad's mad at me. Mm -hmm. He's yelling at me to get down. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> I said I'm not getting down. <laughs> the other the other circus people are kinda of laughing and clapping mm -hmm. at me. They're they think my dad's a jerk. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel? <laughs> I don't care. I'm happy that I'm up there. I don't care that he's mad. Mm -hmm. Is there anything <laughs> else from this scene that's important? Let's see what happens. My, da uh, my dad's just really mad. He's screaming at me. Okay. So now let's close that scene and let's move on to another important scene in that same lifetime when something has happened. Be there now.
Where are you? The elephant was shot. He's laying down and I'm crying. Who shot the elephant? I don't know. Let's follow up and see what happens. <sighs> My dad doesn't feel bad that the elephant died. Mm-hmm. He's kind of flipping about it. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? I'm mad. I'm sad. What happens next? He just walks off and I'm there. The circus people come up and they're crying. The elephant is dead. They're comforting me. It seems that they're probably more of your family than he is. Yeah, they're nice people. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else in your family? Where is your mother in this? I don't know. She's. I know I have one, but she's not around. Mm -hmm. Anything else important from this scene? No. All right. So close that scene now, and let's move forward to when something else important happens in your life, something that impacts your life. I'm getting married. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. He's a guy from the circus. Mm -hmm. What does he do? Mm -hmm. He's a um, He's the son of one of the guys that takes care of the animals. Mm -hmm. He's nice. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel? I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens at this wedding? Uh, all the people there from the circus. My um, my dad didn't come. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I don't, I don't care. I'm just happy to be married and the circus workers are they're like family to me and they're they're happy mm -hmm. for me. How old are you there now, Evelyn? Uh, probably uh, late teens. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene now. And let's go farther when you're much older and something important is happening in your life. Be there now. Where are you? I'm in a rocking chair mm -hmm. and I have grandchildren around me and my husband is dead. I have a daughter. And a son. Mm -hmm. And they're with me, their children and their spouses. How does that make you feel? happy. Mm -hmm. 
How has your life been? It's been fine. I've had a good life with my husband mm -hmm. and our children. How old are you there now? I think I'm uh, 78. Mm -hmm. Very good. And what year is it up? Huh? Eighteen seventy-six. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Close that scene and now go to the last day. And tell me where you are. I'm in bed. Mm -hmm. I feel like just my just my children are there. Mm -hmm. Trying to make me comfortable. What do you feel in your body? I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. So as you lie there in that bed and think about your life, what are the things that are going through your mind? I'm glad I have my children with me. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing my husband. All right, so I'd like for you now to take a deep breath in and transition out of that body. Feel yourself taking that last breath and allow yourself to release. And tell me what happens as you leave that body. I'm floating up. Mm -hmm. And as you float up, Evelyn, I want you to look back at that lifetime. Every lifetime has a purpose and every lifetime has lessons. What was the lesson that you learned from that lifetime? I stood up for myself. Mm -hmm. I did what I wanted to do. And what was the purpose of you living that lifetime? What were you there to learn? <clears throat> I can do what I want if I want to. Mm -hmm. Very good. So allow yourself to continue drifting and floating and tell me where, where, where do you go? Everything that you see along the way. I'm just floating up and I see my husband, he's waiting there. Mm -hmm. And my mom is there. Tell me more. What yeah, happens? they're just happy to see me. Mm -hmm. My dad's not there. Mm -hmm. So let's find out after you meet with your family, where do you go to next? They're both walking me somewhere. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. Just kind of this white... It's like we're outside but everything's white. Mm -hmm. And we're walking and we're walking towards some people. What do these people look like? They're wearing um, white robes with a gold um, rope-like mm -hmm. belt. And um, a couple of them kind of have their arms out, stretched, and they're just happy. Mm -hmm. Do these people have genders? They all look male to me. Mm -hmm. So let's find out who they are. Connect with them. <sighs> The 
this one man steps forward and he he says I've been waiting for you and the others are just kind of smiling and looking who is this man he says he's the one who's been with me this whole time when I was on earth mm -hmm. is he your guide yeah mm -hmm. what's his name he says his name is Craig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's find out what Craig has to say to you. What does he tell you? He asked me if I had a good time, and I, <laughs> I'm like, well, some of it was fun. Mm -hmm. He said, you... He said, you stood up for yourself, and you... You had a hard time doing that before. Mm-hmm. So he's putting his arm around me and we're we're gonna start to walk somewhere and my mom and my husband are just standing there. Mm -hmm. So and the other uh, ones in the robes are f following Craig and I. Mm -hmm. well, tell me where you go. We're going to this theater. Mm -hmm. Going to this theater, and we're all gonna sit down. What does this theater look like? And it looks like a movie theater, but we're going in there, and it's like we're. He says, "He says, let's see how you did." Mm -hmm. So what happens now? It's flashes of my life. What do you see that catches your eye? elephant that died mm -hmm. and feel really sad about that mm -hmm. and I know my dad shot it he wanted to make me feel bad for disobeying him he didn't care he just wanted to do it to make me mad and mm -hmm. sad what was the lesson in that? What was the spiritual lesson? No, I just feel like you just, um, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. What does your guide tell you? Ask Craig what that meant. He said that there's some people that um, are going to do they're going to do and they're not going to care and you just 
find those that love you mm-hmm. and be with them. What else do you see there? I'm just glad that I have my children. As you're watching this life review, these flashes, what are the things that you're thinking about? How are they affecting you? I feel like I was a good person. And I like being part of the circus and being with them, but my dad was just not, he wanted to be the boss of them and he wanted me to be the boss of me, mm-hmm. despite what I wanted to do. So let's find out from Craig. What was the reason your father was in that lifetime with you? Was there something that you had to learn from your father? Did you choose to be the... I think I did. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how you knew your dad before. Allow that to come up on the screen. (sighs) My dad in this life. What contracts have you made? What was the reason you chose to be together again? Help him. I was sometimes the buffer between him and my mom. Mm -hmm. So he chose to be in a different type of circus this time. He wasn't like that in his life. Mm He took on a different role. Yeah. So ask Craig if that karma has played out. Has it paid off? He says yes. Mm Mm-hmm. Is there anything else from your life review that's important? I didn't lose my love. Mm -hmm. I had love for my husband and my kids. I was happy.
happy anyway. Mm-hmm. So how important was that to live in that lifetime? He couldn't take my name, even though he uh, he did that. It's, it didn't ruin me. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's find out where Craig takes you after this life review. Where do you go to next? He says, "Let's talk about your next life." Mm-hmm. So do you stay there or do you go somewhere else? No, we get up and we leave. Mm-hmm. He's walking with me and we're in a we're in a garden and we're walking down a path and he's talking to me about options. Mm-hmm. What options do you have? He's asking me if I want to go back as a male or a female. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and what do you tell him? I said, I'll, I'll go back as a man. Mm-hmm. So what is the purpose of this next lifetime as a man? Show that I can be strong and be caring. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be caring for people. Do you go by yourself or do you choose people to go with? He's telling me about some people. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling him about some people that I'd like to go with. Mm-hmm. So we're talking about that. These people that are going with you, what will their roles be in your life? <clears throat> so these people, there'll be some pe- people that um, that will need help. They'll be poor. Well, um, they're they're not going to have a lot of resources, so they're going to they're going to need help. I'm uh, I'm going to be a lawyer. These are going to be people that um, they're living in like tenements and they're get being kicked out and they don't have any place to go. And I'm supposed to help them, so that's what we're talking about. Okay. 
I tell him that's I'll do it. So what happens next? How do you prepare for this life? He says, I'll know what to do. Okay. <clears throat> so take me through, and let's see what happens. I'm born in New York. Mm. What year is it? I want to say 1908. Mm -hmm. I'm going to meet some people. How old are you? I want to say I'm in my mid-20s. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed right now? I'm in a suit. I'm going to meet my clients. Mm -hmm. Where do these clients live? I live in these tenements and I see some stuff out on the sidewalk, their belongings, and some of them are sitting on the sidewalk and they're crying and there's some people rushing up to me what's happening? they're telling me we don't know what to do that um, they don't understand why they're being kicked out because they don't have water and they don't conditions aren't so great mm -hmm. they're working they work hard but um, the men so they can't believe they're being kicked out they say that um, the landlords want to fix them up for people that can for for decent folk mm -hmm. so what do you do I tell him I'm going to go talk to a judge and see what we can do. So what happens next? These people are out on the street, so I feel like I should go talk to the judge at his home. He's not happy that I'm there. Mm -hmm. He says, you need, have to talk to me in my courtroom. I'm not going to do this right here. Right here. And I said, these people are out on the street. I have to do something for them. And he says, well, if you care so much about him, have him live with you. I 
I don't know what to do. I go talk to a colleague. now? He says, let's go talk some, to some other lawyers and let's figure out what we're going to do. And these are some guys that I went to college with and they're They're good people, they're... They want to see what they can do because they think, no, this is wrong. So let's fast forward the scene and see how it gets resolved. families into an old school while we resolve this. I've got a couple friends that are going to help me, a couple attorney friends that are going to help me, and we're, we're going to talk to the judge, the people. So the people are off the streets, but they can't stay in the school for very long. We have to figure something out. Is this just making you feel? I'm really frustrated because it's like a, people don't care. Mm -hmm. People don't have any place to stay and they're being kicked out. And it's just money. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene and let's move forward until you get the resolution. When you get the resolution to this problem, be there now. What's happening? We use some of our own money. What do you do with that money? like it's not really resolved but we put some money together and from people that know what's happening they've given some money and just to have a place for them to stay so we fix we fix up a place and there's It's not resolved, mm -hmm. but we have to get them out of the school. So there, we've got several families living in a, in a walk up, some sort of apartment. Mm -hmm. 
and it's temporary still, but there's we just can't seem to resolve it. There's the men of those families don't have enough to pay the rent of what the landlords want. Mm -hmm. So we're still fighting it, and the judge doesn't care. He seems to be bought off. All right, so let's close that scene and let's go to another time in your lifetime when something important is happening. Allow yourself to drift and float to that time and place. Be there now. I'm older and I'm with my wife. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I feel like I wasn't... I uh, wasn't... As good a lawyer as I thought I could be, I just had too many failures. Mm -hmm. I couldn't um, I fought for people and there's just too many people that don't care. Mm -hmm. So what do you do now? <clears throat> I just I'm too old. Mm -hmm. But do I you feel there? Probably in my eighties. Mm -hmm. I mentored. I um I um, was like a guest speaker sometimes at a law mm -hmm. school and I would tell them that, you know, there's people out there that need your help. You do find a way to do what I couldn't. All right, so let's advance now to the last day of your life in that lifetime. And tell me where you are. I'm in the hospital. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to breathe. from the pollution in the city, mm -hmm. yeah, like emphysema or something. Mm -hmm. My wife is there. It's just us. What are the things that you're thinking about as you're lying there in the hospital? I feel like I didn't, I wasn't able to accomplish <coughs> what I wanted. Mm -hmm. feel like I let a lot of people down that I was trying to help and I feel like my hands were tied. So allow yourself now to take the last breath in that lifetime. Transition out of that body. And as you look back at that body, what did you learn? Well, you could do your best. You could have your heart into something and wanting to help. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. All right, so allow your soul to begin to drift and float back. And tell me what you see as you arrive at your destination. Who's there to greet you? Crack is there. Mm -hmm. uh, I told him I told him I felt like my main mission just I didn't it it failed. What does Craig say? 
He says that um, you tried your best with your heart and you wanted to do right by these people. He says you can't do everything by yourself. And still upset about it, but he says everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. So where does Craig take you now? We're walking and um, for some reason we're not going to go to the theater. Mm -hmm. I guess while we're, when I first arrived, we, and I was telling him that I felt like it was a failure, my life was a failure. Everything, the, my life review was just done right there. Mm -hmm. He doesn't seem too concerned that he says it's, it'll be fine mm -hmm. so where's Craig taking you now we're walking and we're talking about the next life mm -hmm. tell me more He says, well, what do you want to do now? I said, I don't know, I'm just, I'm frustrated. I don't want to have to go through another life and not be able to accomplish something. What do you want to accomplish now? I just want to help people who can't help themselves. And I feel like I, um, I need some help being able to do it next time. So who are the ones going to help you next time? Uh, a female who I feel like is a sister, a close person, mm -hmm. <coughs> and a mom fig figure. Mm -hmm. and who are these two? <sighs> Ask Craig to show you who they've been in your lifetime. The sister is the one that I have now, mm -hmm. and the mom is the one I have now. Mm -hmm. Have you lived with these before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the sister used to be my mom. My mom used to be my sister, and we've done this before. Mm -hmm. He says, so I bet you can get something done with them. Mm -hmm. What is it you're supposed to be doing with them? We need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So let's find out. Let's find out what the plan is.
we're going to take a deep breath in and we're going to go even deeper. We're going to count from five to one. And when we get to number one, we'll be connected with your higher self. Five, going deeper, four, deeper, three, deeper, two, deeper and one allow me to connect with your higher self do I have permission to speak with your higher self today yes thank you very much I know that you could have shown Jonah many different lifetimes today why did you show her the one about the clown She needs to learn how to be her own person mm -hmm. and not worry about what other people think, even if it's their parents. Mm -hmm. Is she learning that in this lifetime? It's taking a while. Mm -hmm. Why is it taking so well, so much for her? She's stuck. Mm -hmm. What's keeping her stuck? She just can't let go. Mm -hmm. she, she, um, she just wants everyone to love her. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be people that don't. You know, when we started out this session, she saw a big blob of goo. Where did this goo come from? From inside of her. Mm -hmm. Is that goo still there today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where in her body is this goo? In her um, stomach and in her guts. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to speak with this goo now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring my hand over to your stomach and bring it up, 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 and you can express yourself now. Am I speaking to that goo in her stomach? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. How can I address you today? Would you like to be given a name? Ben. Ben. Mm -hmm. Ben, have you ever had a physical body before? Yes. Mm -hmm. How long have you been there with Jana? A long time. Mm -hmm. How old was she when you found her? She was young. Mm -hmm. Ben, how old are you? Five. Five. So Ben, how is it that you lost your body? I was in an accident. Mm -hmm. What kind of accident? I was in a on a bicycle and I got run over. Mm -hmm. What year is it for you, Ben? 1962. Mm -hmm. So, Ben, why is it that you didn't go back home to the light, to source, when you were hit by a bicycle? By, when you were hit on this bicycle? Why didn't you go home? I didn't know where to go. Okay. So, how old was Jana when you found her? She was a baby. Mm -hmm. And why did you go into this baby? Why did you attach to her? She was nice, a nice baby. Mm -hmm. So Ben, all of these years, what have you been doing to her? I've just been inside of her, mm -hmm. wanting to be loved. Mm -hmm. Have you caused her any discomfort, Ben? I've made her sad. Mm -hmm. What else have you made her? I 
made her long for love. Did she ever feel like she got enough love because of you? No, I just... You just wanted more, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what would happen when Jana was in situations where she felt angry? Did you have anything to do with that? I'd make her angrier. Mm -hmm. Where was that, Ben? What? Why was that? Why do you make her angrier? So I'm mad that I, mad that I died. Mm -hmm. And do you make her hold on to things that she doesn't need to hold on to? Feelings? Situations? I'm mad and I'd make her mad. Mm -hmm. So she can't forgive anybody, can she? Because of you. I guess not. Mm -hmm. Now it seems, Ben, that you're a very angry little boy. Would you like to feel happy? Yes. Mm -hmm. But before you feel happy, what would you like to tell Jana about everything that you've been doing to her? Do you feel bad about it? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so Ben, let's feel a little bit better. Ben, inside of you, there's a little spark of light. This is the spark of light that's connected to the Creator. This is the light that created you. Can you find that light? <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So make that light bigger and bigger until it gets to be as big as you are. And tell me how it feels to have that light as big as you are. It's big. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? It's warm. Mm -hmm. Now Ben, make that light even bigger. Make it as big as a star. Make it huge. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be as huge as a star? It's neat. Mm -hmm. Now, would you prefer to be in this light all the time, or would you prefer to just stick around with John and be angry? I want to be like this. Mm -hmm. So, that in order for you to do that, you have to begin releasing all of that energy from inside of this woman. Begin releasing all of your energy from inside of her. And now that you are as bright as a star, begin filling that area with that beautiful, brilliant light. Mm -hmm. Give her a piece of that beautiful light inside of her. How does that feel to give her that love? Yeah, I want to share it with her. Mm -hmm. To go ahead and begin sharing that beautiful light, that love, that warmth, that feeling that everything is just okay. Fill her up. And now that you have filled her up with that love, how does that make you feel, Ben? I'm happy about that. All right, so now that you're happy, there's no longer a need for you to be with this woman, is there? No. No. So let's say goodbye to her and go up through the top of her head. And Archangel Michael is there, and he's going to take you straight to Source, back home to the Creator. And tell me when you get there, Ben. I'm there. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody there to greet you? My mother. Mm -hmm. Give her a big hug. And Ben, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I'd like now to speak with the higher self and let me know how her stomach area looks now. Mm, it's like there's a... It's empty. Mm-hmm. Do you see anything else in her body that's been holding her back? No. No. So she has other questions that she brought here today. She wanted to know who her main guide is, and I think we found out that it was Craig. Mm -hmm. How many other guides does she work with at this time? She's working with a lot. Mm -hmm. Who are the guides she's working with? 
How many does she have? Mm -hmm. She has a lot, like, uh, it varies, mm -hmm. but she has about ten. Ten guys. Now. That's good. And what are these guys working with? What are their roles in her life at this time? Uh, they're trying to help her understand. Mm -hmm. That it's not forever. Mm -hmm. That's right. And now we understand that Ben had a big part of it. That he was causing havoc in her life. <sighs> how was that? How was Ben affecting her? He's making her angry and sad. Mm -hmm. Does she need to feel that anymore? No. No. Good. So how can she strengthen her contact with the guides? She says she hears these voices in her head and she's been getting to channel now. Are these the guides that are doing this? Yes, they're trying to tell her that she's... We're telling her that we love her. Mm -hmm. Will she be able to channel more in the future? Yes. Mm -hmm. She tells me that also at this time she's kind of twiddling her feet a lot. Does that have anything to do with the guides? There's a lot of energy going through her. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a way of releasing it. Okay. So she'll be twiddling her feet even more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're working on her. Okay, good. So what's the best way for her to channel more? She needs to focus. Mm -hmm. It's hard for her to focus. She has a busy mind. Mm -hmm. Well, she seems to be doing brilliantly today. <sighs> Probably has something to do with Ben leaving. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So how can in the future she do her own channeling, her own self-hypnosis? Will you be able to help her? We'll do that. Mm -hmm. Are there any tricks that she needs to do to relax her? She just needs to practice meditation more. Mm -hmm. She's, she's, uh, she just needs more practice. Okay, good. And let's find out a little bit about what's happening with her dad. Now her dad, we can see that he was the same dad from the life of a clown. Does Dad have anything to say today to John? Can we communicate with him today? Yes. All right, so I'm going to count from one to three, and let me speak with Gordon. One, two, and three. Gordon, good evening. How are you? Fine. Gordon, what's happened since you've left? Have you been, been able to watch over your daughter? I'm always with her. Mm-hmm. Gordon, did you go to the light after you left here? I did. Mm -hmm. And what did you find out about this lifetime? What did you learn? I failed her. Mm -hmm. Talk to your daughter and tell her about that. I'm sorry that I wasn't around. I'm sorry that I wasn't better dad for you but I know I know I now know what was going on I'm sorry for that mm -hmm. take a deep breath in Jenna speak with your dad what would you like to tell dad I know you would be I know I know that you know All right. Very good. Take a deep breath in, Corden. What would you like, What would you like to say in final, in final to your daughter? How can you help her? I'm always with her and the kids. And Brian is good to her. I'm just sorry that I couldn't tell her that when I was alive. 
No, you can tell her now, Gordon. Tell her everything you need to tell her. I love you so much, and you're... You need to be stronger. Uh, you're going to be okay. I'm with you all the time. I know you. I know you get upset and you're frustrated, but you're going to be fine. You're, you're strong. You'll be, you'll, we'll be together. Very good. We'll be fine. Is that all, Gordon? Uh, she's a good mom. Very good. Thank you very much for that information. Let me speak now with the higher self. Thank you. And I'd also like to say to Gordon, may the light of the universe always accompany She wants to know if she should continue and expand the garden nursery business or do something else. Yeah, she'll, uh, whatever she wants to do, mm -hmm. she, uh, she likes doing that, so she needs to continue doing it. Mm -hmm. Does she have any guides that are specializing in this? She has two. Two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And they help her with the with the nursery. They uh, they've been uh, getting her motivated. Mm -hmm. Good. Are there any, perhaps, any fairies or divas that are working with her in the garden? <laughs> They're her. Her pets. Her pets. Mm hmm. Cleo. Mm hmm. Good. So Cleo helps her in the garden? And Cleo keeps her company. Mm hmm. Good. Now she was asking about Silly. Can you tell her a little bit about Silly and how Silly is doing? Miss Ellie's fine. Mm -hmm. She's she's around. Mm -hmm. She's glad that she's happy with Brian. Mm, very good. Does Silly stay with her at all? Silly and Elliot. Mm -hmm. They're around when she gets sad. Okay. Do you think she's going to be getting that sad anymore? Now that Ben is gone? She should be fine. Okay, very good. So I'd like to thank Silly and Elliot for their role in Jana's life. I know they're, they're going to appreciate that, that acknowledgement. So would you do a body scan on her? Let's see what's going on with her body. Her right eye. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her right eye? Mm, she says she has pressure in it. Mm -hmm. Can you work on her right eye today? Send her some healing light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just let her know what you're using. Strong yellow light. Okay, good. When you're done with the light? We're done. Very good. What else in her body needs attention today? Her neck. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her neck? Her neck is stiff. Mm -hmm. What's causing that?
something that won't let go. Mm -hmm. What is it that she's not letting go of? She just she has a lot of tension there. She keeps a lot of tension there. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to ask for now is for some very very powerful light to come in through her third eye. I'd like for you to imagine almost like a inverted unicorn horn going into your third eye and let's ask for the divine Christ light to come in through her body and as it floods her body allow that tension to be released through that third eye allow mm -hmm. it to be an exchange have her release everything going through that body and as that brilliant light comes in through her eye it's leaving very good and as it's leaving through there allow that light to heal her focus, for her to be able to see, to be able to feel, to be able to know. Allow that light to heal that third eye. See things from a spiritual way, not a human way. Understand things from a different level removing that veil from the third eye focusing on her spiritual path and that means alleviating all of these heavy burdens that she has and tell me when that's done it's done very good what else do you find in her body that needs care today That's it. Now, Jana has told me that she has excessive weight for a long time now. What's keeping that weight on? She's trying to fill a hole in herself. Mm -hmm. And where is this hole that she's trying to fill? solar plexus. Mm -hmm. Is that the area where Ben was? Ben was in a bigger area, okay. lower, bigger. Okay, so let's find out what's going in the solar plexus. Why is that chakra out of alignment? Can we do some healing on that chakra today? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that she doesn't have to feed that area with food. She can feed it with her breath. Now that she has all of that love in her heart, in her body, she can just fill that area with love. And tell me when that chakra is aligned. Are there any other chakras that need alignment today? No. No. What about her aura? How does her aura look? Is it intact? It's frayed. Mm -hmm. So can we make it a little bit more solid? 
more brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and begin filling her with that rainbow of light. All of the colors of the rainbow, each one very potent. And tell me when you've done with when, you, when you're finished with that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else that we need to work on today? No. Very good. So I'd like at this time to ask Archangel Raphael to begin filling her from head to toe with his brilliant healing light. And as he begins to scan her body and fill it in, I'd like for him to begin working with her on transmuting all of those fat cells into energy so that she begins to feel them Trans transmuting just completely changing into energy so that she can once again feel like she has the energy to do what she needs to do so that when she feels that she's sad or anything is bothering her she can fill that area with breath and have all of those fat cells begin to give her energy and joy and with that, they begin to dissolve and the jhana that is here to help people will begin to transform into the beautiful soul that she was always meant to be. One that is not hiding. So I'd like for you to give her a picture of what that looks like as she breathes in and those cells begin to give off energy and as they give off energy you could feel the tingling in all of your body the energizing of her body feel the happiness coming into her body the joy the feeling like she wants to laugh she wants to jump in joy knowing that everything ahead in her life is sparkling just like that water that was dancing for her her life will be dancing for her and now as the higher self what would you like to tell Jana now she's doing a good job whether she thinks so or not mm -hmm. she's overcome a lot mm -hmm. Any final message for John? We love her so much. She'll be fine. Very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Very good. Oh, terrific. boy. My hands are sweating. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. How do you feel? Oh, that was crazy. That was great. Oh, gosh. You did fantastic. When we were talking to my dad, mm -hmm. I was just, I could feel myself just being, mm -hmm. just vibrating. Mm -hmm. Amazing. <sighs> yeah. How long do you feel you're on this journey? Oh, I don't know. Probably an hour. We're around about an hour and 45 minutes. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. You did great. <laughs> Thank you. You went to those two lifetimes that which were very important to you. You know. Now you understood. Yeah. And you got to meet with Craig. <laughs> Twice. Since when is a, a guy named Craig? Oh, they named all sorts of crazy things. <laughs> I had one that was named Arthur. So Arthur, well. Yeah, they all, we, all, we have different names. Oh, wow. So now you understood. Uh, yeah. Why you saw those those striped socks and you saw the the man in the three-piece suit now you know the story now I know the story now, now mm -hmm. I know yeah you know a lot more yeah and you know now what karma you were oh. you were paying off huh you know that's what I needed to know yeah you need to just get it behind you now 
I don't <sighs> understand. Once you yes. understand it, you don't need to drag that anymore because you don't want that dragon body no. anymore. I wanna, yeah, I want that yeah. to be done. Right. So all you have to do is like, done. <laughs> <laughs> understood. Good. Understood. Good. Yes. So this is a good session. This is really good. Wow. So was it worth coming down here for this? Of course. Yeah. How do yeah. you feel? How does your body feel? Oh. oh, I just feel relieved. Relieved? You feel lighter? Yeah. I'm going to give you some shungi to shift to, to, uh, okay. yeah. to ground you. Okay. Because you are still floating. <sighs> so now you know. Uh, yes. Is this Thank something you. you want to keep private? Not necessarily. Just a few people, a few parts we'll ch we'll, we'll take out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we mentioned too many names. Yeah, we'll take out some. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Well, whatever you feel, just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was good. The past lives were very detailed. It was a little different than what I've experienced personally, but it's it just came to me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the heck am I doing in a circus? <laughs> now you know. <laughs> an important story very important story wow I've never felt any connection to any, any circus. circus or anything before <laughs> like what the heck amazing huh yeah so how, did, how do you feel mm. that was just really trippy <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah yeah some of those things that came through were just mm-hmm Wow, really something. Now, you had told me before we started that you have been hypnotized before. Right. You did self-hypnosis. Right. So tell everybody what you did to prepare for this. Um, well, I uh, just practiced laying down and um, breathing to help me focus. Um, the, when I did self-hypnosis, mm -hmm. it was a little different. Um, this time with Alba, it just felt like energy was running through me and mm. then when we were talking uh, about my dad yeah. I really felt like right in here my chest was just mm. really expanding so um, I felt that way in the past mm -hmm. he's communicated with me in the past mm -hmm. um, very loudly without <laughs> any doubt that it was him saying something to me yeah um, but this time it, I felt it more it yes was, yeah. So it felt good. Yeah, yeah I mm -hmm. felt like he was here, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. And, and the reason why we did these two past lives is because you had actually seen snippets of these lives in your own self-hypnosis, right. correct? Right, The first time I did mm -hmm. it, it, uh, it kind of freaked me out. I kind of pulled myself out. Mm -hmm. And that was the one where I saw striped socks. And, mm -hmm. I, and that was many years ago. And mm -hmm. I haven't been able to bring that up again. And... Uh -huh. I always thought, what the heck would I be doing with striped socks? <laughs> and now you know. And, and it was, yeah, it's a circus. So uh -huh. um, anyway. Yeah. Just, yeah. So sometimes people come to these sessions and they've done hypnosis before. They've had dreams and they can't explain what these dreams are or what, what these snippets of, of information are. Mm -hmm. And when we come here, that's what actually happens. When you bring questions with you, that's what we go over. So these were two of the main questions that Jana had about what 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 was this that she saw and this were the, these were the two lives right before this one. Yeah, the other one. Mm -hmm. um, the I, attorney. Yeah, I didn't know at the time that I was having that partial uh, mm -hmm. hypnosis session that with my personal one um, mm -hmm. that uh, it was attorney. I just saw a man walking. He was wearing an old timey three piece suit mm -hmm. with a bowler hat. And he had shoes um, that were kind of like anklet boots, <laughs> walking around in a poor part of town, and I couldn't make sense of that. And then yeah. part yeah. of it was he was walking up a brownstone, steps to a brownstone. So I had no idea. Now you know. Now I know. He was very frustrated. He was very frustrated. <laughs> poor guy. Yeah. And life between lives. Also, we had the reviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, kind of makes me think. I don't. I don't know if I want to have a life for you. They, they don't sound like too much fun. <laughs> Not when you feel like you haven't accomplished anything. Exactly. You feel like it was kind of wasted. Yeah. But obviously, I 
all that leads up to where I am now. So. Yeah, yeah. So would you recommend this to other yes. people? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And how does it feel to be in hypnosis? Well, it feels like you're um, laying there and you're awake and you can hear everything, but you're... Um, you're kind of being given information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I was laying there thinking, oh, what the heck am I doing in a circus? <laughs> and then I felt this connection to this elephant. Yes. And then when I saw the elephant laying there with a bullet in it, I was just devastated. Mm -hmm. And then eventually I figured out it was my dad getting mm -hmm. back at me for mm -hmm. whatever reason. Yeah. So. Now, when you came here, you said, I want to go deeper. Did you feel like you needed to go deeper? Well, you know... It was different. Mm -hmm. um, my other sessions that I did with the CD, I could see things, and this was more feeling. Exactly. If the information was being given to me, mm -hmm. it was more feeling, mm -hmm. and there were some sort of um, visuals, but it wasn't like before. So it was a little different, but mm -hmm. it seems to be more complete. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't know. matter. It doesn't matter how it happens. Sometimes you see it like a motion picture. Sometimes you see it like in pictures. Sometimes yeah. you just know. You just know what's happening. Yeah. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. I am booked way into the future, and uh, but I do travel all over the world. So if you want to sign up for my newsletter, you can go to my out-of-town page on my website, sign up, and as soon as that newsletter comes out and it's a city near you, sign up immediately because the sessions go within minutes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Bye! <laughs>